<laughs> it's a good question as well. Um, so, so I think in the past four or five decades or so in particular, the role of economics as a discipline has taken, in my view, a rather disproportionate place in what were once considered wider philosophical and political debates about how to live a good and virtuous life and what we want our society to be, what values should be at the heart of our society. Um, and as I was saying earlier, GDP and growth rates are the centerpiece. And the myth that as long as the economy continues to expand, life will be better for everyone prevails. Mm -hmm. But we live in, in a finite world and we inhabit an animate earth and we cannot keep slowly killing it for the sake of the myth of growth. Um, which isn't to say, of course, that economic growth hasn't brought affluence and hasn't lifted people out of poverty, that there hasn't been enormous progress when it comes to, to things like medicine and nutrition, connectivity, flight, etc. You know, of course there has, but it's also led to the destruction of the planet and it's led us to ignore our relationship with nature, the living earth, destroying its seas and its oceans and its rivers and forests, killing insects and birds and wildlife. You know, we've been ravaging biodiversity, messing up ecosystems. And again, I go back to that quote by John Muir that I mentioned earlier, when we try to pick out anything by itself, we find it hitched to everything else in the universe. Um, so not to mention that beyond that, our current economic model has increased inequalities and encouraged, I guess, more of a consumption mindset with all sorts of other side effects to it, uh, you know, such as, such as our obesity epidemic growing social isolation and loneliness, also political polarization, if we bring things back to the political sphere. So your, your second question then about how economics can serve the common good, I think actually needs to be brought back to become a more central question. Um, although I would, I would maybe just precise that with an expanded notion of what we mean by the common good though, because to me, it's still a rather, I guess, human-centered notion but we only exist and thrive if the planet exists and thrives. So perhaps economists should be more inspired by, by scientists, thinking back to, to the previous question just now, but in the sense that I find that many scientists often talk about the wonders and the beauty and the awe and the sublime of the natural world, the, the primordial earth and you know, even the cosmos. So I suppose I'm suggesting that economics should serve the common good of the people, but also the planet and not in some sort of abstract sense but in a real and tangible way that would more fundamentally actually change how we live 